This matchup used to be very good for Mika. You know what, actually? It used to be really good for Mika in Season 1. Then I think it was, like, maybe even in Season 2, maybe, because of tap. And then now, it might be good for Mika again, right? Because of the tap, tap nerfs, and then Mika being pretty good in this version. Huh. I think Mika's really good this season. I feel like, like, wait. The thing about Mika is she's a lot like Balrog in that her pokes are not that good as like keep out moves, I don't think. But she has really good like pokes to stuff yours to like beat your pokes preemptively and counter poke with, right? Like standing, sh that, that crouching short there is really good. And forward medium kick is really good. Two are her best buttons. And standing medium punch buffer is so strong. If you have bar, you can always EX Peach confirm, but the buffer and the medium uh, Peach is really like good, too. Play Mika, that was good back there. Yeah, crouching medium punch has increased pushback in this season so that you can't get under as easily, right? You couldn't dash to get under. Because sometimes it was kind of jank. They buffed her crouching medium punch in 3 and then nerfed the pushback in 3.5 so it wasn't as wild. I love watching do play. I can't wait until him and Punk start watching OGs in a 3 Saint smiley face. And it's wild to think that they would ever watch the OGs in those games. Thanks very much, AZ Collins, for the uh, subscription. Three months. Nice back dash in the corner yeah. The I wish you would have dashed forward command throw instead of jump there. Smart. But jumping after or dashing after four fierce is pretty good. Because you have, you're have you so plus that people respect your options. And I think even more than that, he's not at risk. Slide after blocking. Wow. Oh, he had that in the desk yeah, he messed he, he messed the he confirm up. Okay. Yeah, he thought. So there's a couple of things that happened here. First of all, this activation, you usually try to hit confirm it, but he Slide didn't hit confirm it here. He still has plus frames. Wow. Well, command throw, dash though. command throw. You can still do oh, mid screen or um, not not with regular throw, and then just meaty regular throw on the corner. Regular throw on the corner is a regular throw is much worse in this version for Mika than it used to be, but. It's still pretty bad. Kind of him now. Okay. Yeah, of all the characters Knuckle Dude plays, this is probably his best matchup, I guess. Well, Cammy is good against Barog too. It was only one down medium before the oh, He played V Trigger one against Mika, huh? Mmm, good stuff. And he had it exactly too, because if you get that off by a couple of frames, you're gonna get crushed. This is just the character that Knuckle Dude has always played against Barog. I love Smug's game plan right now. It's just, it's Four medium kicks so good for Mika, dude. Button. That's why Balrog uh, Roundhouse is coming out so much now, right? Like, he sees right that he's doing this a lot. So Smug's adjustment is like, alright, I'm gonna just wait over here and hit Roundhouse and wait for you to run into it, right? Jump splashes to try to beat Balrog standing medium punch. Crushed him. Yeah, Take him back to the corner. Bomb. That was an interesting choice. Throws him the other direction to get Standing jab into in forward the... fierce beats you jumping out. It can also crush counter you if you're late. And then instead of going for strong or throw, he does this crouching light kick, which hits. Walk up strong to try to check a button or jump. Trying to bait smug Woo! into touching a button. That big fierce. Standing medium punch is so good because, go. yeah, exactly. And then this version, it's really powerful because uh, it has more pushback, which is actually a good change for Mika. Yeah, you're dead. Forward Pierce. That's the the corner scenario here is really hard to win from. Right? Meaty, he does meaty short, which you can combo into like you know jab, short strong or whatever, or short strong after. He does jab, jab for stun, and then right here, this is when her best mix up comes in, right? Forward Fierce, down strong, and you can go left right here. Yeah. I feel like that one he should have seen actually. He did there a little late. Because if he had, Smug would have been reset and might have been able to get a punish. But very nice reactions by Do. Or maybe expectation. Yeah, that was good stuff. Man, he's really good about stopping dropkick actually. See, he didn't answer at that time because he's scared of the splash. Or he just missed it, right? But like either way, the splash is important because it means that Mika can jump in more. Mika is really good in the corner. Yeah, see, two jumps. Punish. He could have gone a bigger punish if he just let it whiff and did strong into the clap, actually. But I, that's probably the most realistic punish. Jump over. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah he's got a V trigger. I think you should just spend it, right? Well, I guess if you're in the corner. Yeah, he tried sliding into V trigger. Overhead. Overhead V trigger is. Uh, yeah, that's dead. 
That is game number one. Overhead into V-Trigger is a, always a good idea with Balrog, right? It's plus eight on activation. So you just do it because if it hits, you get a combo that kills. And if, you, if you're if you blocked, you just mix them up. Why V-Skill after forward throw? You mean V-Skill overhead? You can meaty with V skill punch after forward throw. His his uh his over his pressure out the throw is worse than I used to. Command throw. Jab strong would be jump out there. Command throw. Yeah, that's 50-50. And then he gets meaty forward fierce after giant swing. You just gotta watch. Yeah, that's counter hit combo. I like that he did upper actually to build. Uh, that's a punish. Fierce to beat as a buffer to beat a medium kick is pretty good, but then dash four medium kick. This is a meaty, I think, on both rises, but I believe on quick rise it's minus three. I believe. I'm pretty sure. Right. I think that if smug back rises, then it's not minus three, but on quick rise, I think that's minus three. So I think that was a punish. Good block. Oh, he uses the armor. That was a good choice. Perfect play. I think I've watched that match on my stream before. Yes. Oh my god. Well, either way, he has beat trigger, so yeah, he's chilling. I like that he didn't dash. Oh my god, he could have ex peached. Yeah. Went for some tricky stuff. There was the V skill coming out. Yeah, I think he was gonna try to go for the overhead. That might have even won him the round, and nothing he knew that, so. Yeah, he buffered Fierce again. Mika's Fierce is surprisingly good counter poke. It goes really far, and Heavy Peach is always going to hit, right? So, like, yeah. Uh-oh, this is bad. He could have done counter hit in the medium kick, but I don't think he expected it. Punish. I like that Smug actually punishes it with Crouching Fierce every time. Everybody else will probably jab there because they're not as familiar with the matchup. Jump back jab is good. Yeah, that mix-up was weak. You just take the command throw there because he would have had to do EX Giant Swing to connect, and that's not that scary. It's a lot of damage, but... That was a meaty combo. It wasn't even counter hit. Almost done. Oh, traded. Damn. He tried jab there. If it hit, would have got him. Bureau so maybe no. He jumped again. Jesus. Ex. Ex giant swing will kill here. That air to air was gangster. Oh no. Smoke can still win this. Oh my god. That was. Man, you're a monster. Right here. This jump back jab, yeah, is. and then if you're knuckle dude, you know that smug is looking for your jump, right? So you go with the drop kick, and I think he probably tried to react with jump back jab. Yeah, see that? Smug is looking, he's waiting for any movement, and he tries to jump back jab. I think thinking it's another jump. See that? He does the same thing he just did. So he gets a juggle with the XP. Like smug, the way he was in his head, he was like, all right, he's gonna jump at me, so I'm gonna wait for the movement, and as soon as I see it, I'll do jump back jab. So that's exactly what he did. And then right here, Smug jumps thinking it's command throw, air to air, down short, down jab, EX Peach. Down jab into giant swing is interruptible by a three frame button. Right? And down jab is only one. Standing jab into command throw is real, but down jab is not. He's like, none of them, and then command grab right there. Don't even look. But in that moment, you can't you see the difference between a standing jab or a crouching jab. Right? Standing jab is plus two, and crouching jab is plus one. So that's why you can you can frame trap with standing medium punch or command throw off standing jab, but not crouching jab. Just as a heads up, if you see a Mika player doing crouching jab and a standing medium punch a lot on you, it's not real. He just draws a bunch of dumb faces in a mirror and looks at it for a while. Now he's practiced up. Counter hit combo. Oh no. He should have done another dash punch. Little did you know that Knuckle Dude's training at home involves a picture of Smug on the couch next to him, and he just makes sure he never turns and looks at it. Uh, nobody wants to look at that guy. <laughs> Damn. Does it beat four oh. frames? Yeah, it would. Man, He's dead. And that's just Back throw. Round he built a shit ton of ball. Smug. Really yeah, Smug always tries to bait Knuckle Dude, but Knuckle Dude doesn't take the bait anymore. Yeah, crouching jab and a standing medium punch or command throw would beat four frames, but not three frames. Yes. That's so easy to hit. You never miss it. Well, unless. 
How did I reverse? I commentator cursed them from the past. You never miss that. Like, it, if you're expecting it. But he was committed to the jump, right? So yeah. Oh no. Absolutely. Jump back jab. Got him. Take him back to the corner. Oh, I guess you want the mid screen mix up. Oh no, he messed it up. Jump back jab again. Every time you do that, though, you give up a lot of space. Yeah, he knew that he was going to do overhead into V-Trigger activation. I wish he would have walked him in command throw. Well, that works, too. After forward throw now in the corner, Mika doesn't get the dash up and, and mix you up. Her mix up here, really, most of the time, is walk up and either do standing medium punch, which would catch a jump, and you can confirm into EX Peach, or walk up, giant swing. Right. Yeah. Is there a dot in the middle of the screen? Oh, oops, my bad. I drew that on accident. Yeah, really able to get in well. Okay, Smug starts it off. Doesn't want to wait to see that charge at all. anti -air? Oh my god. Yeah, Knuckle Dude, he's got him like... He's got him questioning the jump, which is is like you just do the splash to make him like you know think about it. That's combo. Yeah, I think when you get knocked down by Peach, like this, if the Mika player is gonna dash and do forward medium kick, you should quick rise. Because if you quick rise, this forward medium kick is minus three. All right, so you quick rise, so that when they forward medium kick, you block and punish. On hit here, on back roll, it's plus enough to combo standing strong. Yeah, okay. now you go for regular throw here. Ah, oh, yep. He's dead. Flat. No, he's dead. That one is all he needs, and Knuckle Dude, starting in losers. He's super dead. Making two o two comebacks. It's been a long road. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to back roll against forward medium kick, meaty. But also, if you start quick rising and he just dashes up and command throws you, that sucks too. Punish. Yeah, see that time he command through. So that's that's a good example, right? Pretty slow start. Yeah, exactly. If you quick rise, you have to worry about command throw. So back roll, if he does forward medium kick, this this gets hit here, and you can combo standing medium bunch. But when you back roll, like you gain more space and you make the command throw a little bit more yeah. obvious, right? Big on that. He's not gonna be able to meet you with command throw. These guys are used to it now. When you see that whip, you have Unless, uh, maybe EX giant swing because of the range, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you, you but you gotta manually do it, I'm pretty sure. Back roll is the best. Back roll, there's no obvious best option because the Mika player can always change what they do. If you do four medium kick and you back roll and then you jump or try to get out and, and four medium kick hits you, like you get hit by medium punch into EX Peach or medium Peach or whatever. Right? Okay. So, yeah, like there's no best option. You just have to watch what the Mika player is doing and then make a choice based on that. Man, jump over short was a good option. I don't think he was in range to do standing jab into punish. He could have maybe done crouching short. Damn, that was a good whip punish. See, back roll. He's back rolled so many times now that you just go for forward medium kick every time. I feel like boom, boom. Regular throw? Oh, no. Splash for sure. 100% of the time you splash there. Because it makes, no, it makes Smug's job harder. He tried dash under into, I think... Standing medium punch, right? Or crouching fears? Or upper? Yeah. Whatever it was, you splash there just because you make his life harder. Wake up neutral jump. Wake up neutral jump will lose to you. Uh, forward medium kick if you back roll. Or quick rise, actually. It's a medium both. Just not a good medium on quick rise if they happen to. Oh no, he just threw out the clap. This sucks. That was a great whiff punish. He knew that. He probably was expecting it because he had V trigger, right? Yeah, slide V trigger. He wants it really bad. I think now you just do. You wait for the V trigger. You don't. You don't just force it. Yeah, down fierce is a better option. Mika. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said Mika when I meant the Deshko. EX Giant Swing would kill here. That's exactly what you go for, right? Because, well, 
I mean, yeah, it's 50 50, I guess. But I think Smug should have challenged more because Knuckle Dude was so, doing so many crouching jabs in a command throw. And you can interrupt that with a three frame button. Right. So he should have recognized that, I think. Standing jab in a command throw is real. But yeah, when he dashes up here. It's 50-50. Because if he does strong and you jump, he's going to get strong, fierce EX Peach. That's pretty close to killing. Giant Swing does the most damage, though, right? It's like 230 or some shit like that. That's a lot. No, Wake Up Jab would have lost. Reversal, standing light kick after blocking the crouching jab would have worked. It, it looked like he was done. But yeah. you have to guess like because you can't see whether it's standing or crouching jab, really. It's kind of hard. Yeah, he's in grand finals. He came into top eight in loser side. Against Mena RD. Yeah, here's, here's Knuckle Dude's path. So he Am I worried about the future of SF5 since AE sold poorly? Lost to Mena RD, so uh, I mean, not really. There's a lot of reasons, but... I mean, as far as just being someone who likes Street Fighter, not really because the DLC sells super well, right? I mean, there's a reason they sell so many goddamn costumes and CPT fucking bonuses and bundles and shit. But even in a theoretical world where, like, Street Fighter V, it just, it somehow dies and it's just no longer around. I like, like, 150 fighting games, so I'll be sad, but I'll play other fighting games, you know? My life is not attached to a certain game. Or even, I guess, the genre of fighting games, technically.